Victory Day is a special holiday in our country, the day when the most terrible war in the history of mankind ended. The war in which our country lost more than 27 million citizens. It is the day of symbols of our victory. Most people wear the St. George's ribbon. On this day, the ribbon of the Order of St. George, which symbolizes the victories of the Russian weapon from the 18th to the beginning of the 20th centuries and the ribbon of the order of the Russian Empire. But the same ribbon symbolizes two awards of the Great Patriotic War. The first award is the Order of Glory. The second award is the medal for the victory over Germany in the Great Patriotic War 1941-1945. The medal that every soldier, sailor, officer, general, admiral and marshal received if he took part in the Great Patriotic War. In total about 15 million people were awarded. This is the most massive award of the Great Patriotic War. Moscow Red Square June 24th, 1945 Here by the walls of the ancient Kremlin, the whole country celebrates the victorious return of its brave sons. Heroes of unprecedented battles on all fronts of the Great Patriotic War from the Barents Sea to the Black Sea. The combined battle regiments, the platoons that traversed the Dnieper and Oder rivers, those who conquered the snowy passes of the Caucasus Mountains, those who liberated Kiev and Minsk, Sevastopol and Odessa, those who fought on the streets of Budapest, Königsberg, Vienna, and the ones who raised the victory flag but we want to tell you about the rarest award of the Great Patriotic War, which is also a symbol of our great victory. This is the Order of Victory. In total, only 16 people were awarded. Most of them are marshals. The Order of Victory could be awarded to a marshal or general who conducted a successful operation within one or more fronts. This order was created in 1943 to celebrate the most important victories in the battles for the liberation of our country and Europe. Georgi Zhukov got Order of Victory number one in 1944 for the liberation of the right bank Ukraine. He got the second order in 1945 for the skillful execution of the tasks of the Supreme Headquarters. Alexander Vasilevsky, the chief of the general staff, later the commander of the Third Belarusian Front, got order number two in 1944 for the liberation of the right bank Ukraine. He got the second order in 1945 for the capture of Königsberg and for the liberation of East Prussia. The Supreme Commander 
In Chief Joseph Stalin got order number no. three in 1944 for the liberation of the right bank Ukraine, Stalin got the second order in 1945 for the victory over Germany. All the other commanders were awarded in 1945. The commander of the Second Belarusian Front, Konstantin Rokosovsky, got the order for the liberation of Poland. The commander of the First Ukrainian Front, Ivan Konev, got the order for the liberation of Poland. The commander of the Second Ukrainian Front, Radion Malinovsky, got the order for the liberation of Hungary and Austria. The commander of the Third Ukrainian Front, Fyodor Tolbuchin, got the order for the liberation of Hungary and Austria. The commander of the Leningrad Front, Leonid Govorov got the order for the liberation of the Baltics. The representative of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief, Semyon Timoshenko, got the order for planning combat operations and coordinating the actions of the France during World War II. The chief of the general staff, Alexei Antonov, general of the army, got the order for planning combat operations and coordinating the actions of the France during World War II. The commander of the Far Eastern Front, Kirill Meritskov, got the order at the end of the war with Japan. In 1945, the Soviet government awarded this order to some commanders of our allies. They are General of the United States of America Dwight Eisenhower, Field Marshal of the United Kingdom Bernard Law Montgomery, King of Romania Mikhail the I, Marshal of Poland Mikhail Rola Dzimerski, Marshal of Yugoslavia Joseph Broz Tito. On the 9th of May, we will celebrate the 75th anniversary of our great victory. On this day of joy and sorrow, we are going to remember our heroic grandfathers and great-grandfathers who saved not only our country and our future but the whole planet. Yes, in 1945, all the people of our planet were happy as the USSR with the help of progressive people from different countries defeated Hitler's Germany. We had real allies, real friends. Where are they now? When will people all over the world try to remember it? Let's hope it will happen at last. Thank you.